Hello family, so we've spoken about Tony Blair and he's like the point man running around the world everywhere trying to push people towards a one world money system and a mark and all these kind of things in the digital landscape. He's the guy. And now Israel is courting him to be involved in the Gaza situation, which he has now apparently agreed to. And there's two articles here that go hand in hand. They're completely separate, but I'm linking them because you can see the connection immediately. So firstly, Tony Blair to promote emigration of Gazans to other countries. Here we go again. Migration, illegal immigrants. Former UK Prime Minister visited Israel last week and said he would re-examine the possibility of sending Gazan refugees to countries. Um, he spoke to Prime Minister Netanyahu and Minister Gantz. Channel 12 reported that during his meetings, he stated he would re-examine the possibility of sending the Gazan refugees to countries around the world. Minister of National Security Itamar Ben Gavir congratulated Blair on his suggestion and said that if Tony Blair heads a team to promote the emigration of Gazan residents to countries around the world, we must commend this initiative because that is what he wants ultimately and it's brilliant. Uh, so obviously... Ben Gavir, very excited. Now, a completely different article shows you exactly how these two connect. So, we're connecting the dots here. Israeli finance minister calls for voluntary transfer of Gazans and the resettling of Israelis. In an interview with Channel 12 News, Israeli finance minister Bezalel Smorich discussed the voluntary emigration of Palestinians from Gaza the importance of Israel maintaining security control in the region and the possibility of re-establishing Israeli towns there after the war. Smorich warned against a situation in which Gaza will once again be a hothouse of two million people who want to destroy the state of Israel. If there were 100,000 to 200,000 Arabs in the Strip and not two million, the whole conversation about the day after the war would be completely different. He added, they want to leave, they've been living in a ghetto for 75 years and are in need, let them go. So, let's get Tony Blair to ship them out all over the world to other countries. This will advance the plan and program of destabilizing the West. And then the Jews come right immediately and say, right, let's move our people back. Let's get those towns going again. Let's get Israel for Israel, like it used to be. There's no stress and there's no threats here. So the two go together and then you can see clearly now this is the plan. And if this plan works out, there'll be no stress about that entire patch. And if Blair is involved, he can possibly facilitate the movement to Western countries because we know the Muslim countries don't want them. Very interesting developments and definitely something we want to keep our eyes on in the days ahead. Pray for Israel, pray for the peace of Jerusalem, pray for all the civilians on both sides caught in the turmoil, the war and the chaos, and pray that more and more people experience the love of Yeshua HaMashiach. Shalom.